Hello, <coughs> everybody. Today we are going to just learn about the some automotive paint technologies, and this is the part one. And uh, here I am going to present. And uh, my name is Ram of the show. Moving to next slide. Uh, we know that. Uh, Paint is a very complex mixture. So here we'll discuss about the definition of paint. What is a paint? Actually, a uh, paint is a uh, pigmented coating material <coughs> in a liquid or in a paste or in a powder. And once it applied over substrate, uh, it can form an opaque layer, means opaque film. And why that? It can provide you some protective and decorative. And specific technical properties. Uh, in case of like protective, like it can protect your substrate uh, from corrosion, from chemical, from UV ray, UV, UV means ultraviolet rays. And in case of de decorative purpose, it, it will give you a proper aesthetic look that will be look uh, very pleasure for your eyes and some other technical properties so uh, here i mentioned uh, another definition uh, so we can say paint is just a uh, just a colored substance and uh, once it uh, spread over surface uh, it dries and uh, in a thin layer and provides very decorative and protective coating so what our definition are very good learn to and uh, in if, if someone will ask to you you can just uh, tell those definitions uh, so now here we'll discuss about the paint ingredients their functions so as I already told paint is not a simple uh, material it's a complex mixture of different uh, materials like uh, pigment then resin solvent and two more like thinner and additives so first we will discuss about a pigment, what is a pigment and what is a function of the pigment. So generally pigment actually it is a, a solid particles and a very fine particles and it gives the paint its color and it fills the surface properties and provide hiding. Then it is generally insoluble in solvent and water means in which medium they are going to uh, dissolve they are insoluble not soluble so that uh, we know that in paint that uh, medium uh, would be uh, solvent either water then comes on resin so uh, you should keep in mind that resin is a very uh, unique raw material of the paint because almost properties depends on the resin and resin could be in a form of solid semi solid and liquid so what's your function of resin in the paint so actually it uh, wants all paint uh, bit want uh, and bait the pigment particles and gives a paint uh, its adhesion because uh, we know adhesion is a very important property it's essential uh, for a coating that adhesion should be uh, proper on a substrate because of adhesion rest of all other properties are not good and uh, another one is a gloss then hardness and durability durability in case of like if you are going to apply uh, for exterior so in exterior like uh, uh, it, it will pro uh, protect your coating from uv light from different uh, climate heat moisture and different temperature conditions then comes on solvent so uh, solvent actually it's a liquid as well and uh, so it can evaporate after once the coating will dry and what's a function of this actually it help to dissolve the resin and gives it is, uh, gives it, uh, easy to application means uh, uh, solvent will dissolve the resin and it help to uh, apply the coating then moving ahead so it should continue with the uh, raw materials like additive so uh, we know additives uh, could be different kinds of material those can be added uh, in a little amount or 
during wedge making or paint manufacturing but uh, it, it plays a very important way assessing role in a paint properties like uh, uh, you know eye tips could be like uh, dispersion, surfactant and uh, biosatch and uh, rheology modifiers so each of uh, eye tips has their function in their in the coating but uh, see uh, in detail we'll discuss uh, uh, later but here I told you that it's a uh, it's a very essential uh, ingredient of the wind and uh, can be added in a very little amount to just uh, provide some functional properties and uh, really it improve the liquid paint qualities and film properties then comes on thinner so thinner is a uh, another like uh, it looks like same more uh, like solvent uh, we know during uh, uh, once we apply the paint by spray gun or uh, by any by like uh, uh, paint by brush or roller that time we have to just maintain the viscosity of paint because if viscosity is not in specification means if your paint is very thin and it's very thick right so you it's a very it will very uh, hard to apply on the wall or apply on the substrate but uh, because of thinner we, we just uh, reduce the viscosity and it, it will help to uh, application so thank you everybody join this session and uh, watching this video uh, next uh, party will be next part will be uh, coming soon uh, thanks thank you a lot